Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Hey guys, welcome to BTech. It's Basil here, and today I've got a periscope. Only joking. This is an HTC Re camera. The Re camera is HTC's answer to, well, nothing really. Many people thought it was going to be HTC's answer to the GoPro, but it's quite clearly very, very different. For starters, it looks like a periscope or an inhaler or other things which we won't talk about, but it really does stand alone as a fun camera that's pretty accessible in terms of the fact you've just got one button on the back to take photos and videos. There is one other button to activate slow mo, but we didn't. End up using that all you really have to do if you do pick up one of these is take a picture by pressing the button or take a video by long pressing the button with its 16 megapixel camera sensor it's also capable of recording full hd video too as well as slow-mo video 720p resolution is that full hd video you can also do time-lapse photos more than we'd expect from a device with just one button as far as other design highlights go you've got some sensors on the front these can tell when you're holding it they'll actually turn it on automatically without you having to power it up there's around an 800 milliamp cell in here slightly larger the camera glass you can see is very very large on the front that real periscope feel um, is going to suggest that you've got a wide angle of view and indeed you do it's wider than the human eye can see apparently it's around 140 odd degrees or somewhere in those regions down at the base of the uh, device you can see a micro usb connector nano coated to make this thing water resistant and you can also see a micro sd card slot closing all that up there are a whole host of accessories that you can get for this that take advantage of, well, various things really. At the base is a thread that you can hook a tripod onto, but you can also hook this lanyard connector. So if we thread that on, we can see we've got a lanyard connector. We can wear it around our neck. We can wear it over our shoulder. You can also get a lanyard connector to wrap it around your wrist. So it, it's meant to be one of those really fun portable solutions that isn't really trying to fill an action cam space, but is trying to fill like, well, we guess a soccer mum space or a weekend away space with a family or something along those lines, a kind of semi-action cam space. As far as the output goes, it's not final software yet, so we can't comment too heavily on that, but you can pull the photos off here in a couple of ways. Firstly, you can plug it into a PC. Secondly, you can grab that micro SD card and plug that into a PC or a smartphone. Thirdly, download the ReCamera app. This is gonna be available for iOS and Android as well. It will sync with the ReCamera. You can use your phone as a live view Finder for the re-camera and in addition to that you can also control the actual settings so you can set whether you want 16 or 12 megapixel images wide angle or 4 by 3 aspect ratio you can set what size you want the video to be and you can download pull all the photos and videos you take from the recam. The mere fact taking is so easy, just press a button to take and long press to take a video, is really what HTC hopes will differentiate this device as well as that strikingly weird, but at the same time, pretty cool design. Tell us what you think of the re camera. It's definitely one of the most interesting prospects that we've seen. And it kind of like HTC says, does define a product category. If you like the video, click that like button. If you like BTEC in general, click subscribe and let us know what you want us to do with the re camera. Thanks for watching.